Hello, I'm Teresa Ellswick. I'm an HCS influencer, and today I'm going to share and explore with you the app Nearpod and also using it as a digital tool in the primary classroom for social emotional learning and collaboration. First, we're going to hop on over to Google Slides where I like to build my Nearpod activities. Now that we're over in Google Slides, I like to build Google Slides for my Nearpod activities. That way I can use my Google Slides in multiple places aside just from Nearpod. I've just built a basic Google Slide here that I'm going to use for an activity and engagement activity for Four Corners. Typically in my classroom, Four Corners would be students would go visit a corner in their classroom to um, provide an answer or express emotion. In this case, I'm asking them to go to corner one in the room if they're happy, corner two is excited, corner three is tired, or excuse me, sad, and corner four is tired. Now, since we can't do that in my socially distanced classroom, we're going to use this virtually or also through technology. My first step to make this into a Nearpod activity is to go up to add-ons. Once I click add-ons, I'm going to go down to Nearpod and open Nearpod. Nearpod will open up on the right hand side of my page. I'm going to make this Google slide into a draw it slide where students get to actively participate and write their name and show me which one of these four feelings they're feeling that day. I'll go down to convert to draw it. It'll take and make a copy of this exact slide, but make it where students can edit the slide in draw it form for Nearpod. Once Nearpod is opened up on the left hand side of the screen, you'll notice that now I have an additional slide. Well, Nearpod's kind of like copying that first slide and making an interactive slide for students to use. I can edit this slide if I like. I can click on the edit this slide button. And here I'll be given the different options of things that I can do for the draw it slide. I can give the title of the slide. I can name that name the slide a title and I can put those instructions here and I can say type your name. Or how do you feel today? And then I can also add audio directions for those primary friends that might not be able to hear, but we'll be using this as a whole group in the classroom, so I won't add those today. Now I'm going to click Save, and now the students will have those directions on the Draw It slide when they're actually in the Nearpod activity. Now I have my directions. I'm ready to go and convert this Google slide into an actual Nearpod activity. So now on the bottom of my right-hand corner, I'm going to click on Save and go to Nearpod. So let's go over to Nearpod now and see what my activity looks like there. Now I'm back over in Nearpod and I can see my activity has now appeared. I see it saved as the same title as it was saved in Google Slides, SEL Nearpod February PD. I have two options of sharing this activity with my students. I can choose live participation. Everyone can participate in class in a whole group. I can also choose student paste. Student paste I can push out in a seesaw assignment or when students are doing this independently. I'm going to choose live participation as we would use in the whole group in the classroom. Now I've already set up the code, so that's why that um, box appeared. So I'm just going to click resume there. Now when I'm in the Nearpod activity, I will see a view just like students see on their iPads. The code will come up first as my teacher view, and this is what students will see on their iPads. Now the slide before this, if you notice at the bottom, it says two of three. The slide before is just showing me who all is logged in. This is my second slide. Now the interactive slide will be the next slide. So once that I'm in the teacher view, I click on my half moon over on the right side and it's going to convert over and show me who all is logged in. Uh, currently there are no students logged in to this activity. So I'm going to click over in my top right hand corner and click over to student view. So this way I see what the students see on their iPads. Once the student iPad view is open, I will be able to see how to engage and where to write my name. Now in my classroom, the directions would come up for them. And again, you can have the audio inserted if you like. Type your name or how you feel today. I can make this go away by pressing the blue box. And then I can use my drawing tools at the bottom. I have drawing tool or a pen. And if I click on pen, I can choose my color. And then this will adjust the, the width of the pen. I have highlighter, the T for text. I can insert a graphic picture or the eraser. I'm just gonna quickly put my name here. Actually, I'll just do a happy face and I would put my name here, of course, if I was engaging with this activity with students. Once they're finished, they would click on submit. So this is what the student view of this activity looks like in Nearpod.
I hope you've enjoyed this video today supporting students with social emotional learning and collaboration in the primary classroom using the app of Nearpod. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out our other resources.